escuchar, me estaba asustando, digo, ¿qué pasa? Gracias. ¿Cómo se nota que estoy reventado, eh? Joder. Que vuelva a estar mala, te lo contagio yo, perdón. Te imaginas. <risa> ¿Qué te pasa ahora? Todo el día muriéndote. Esto es el boxeo. Eso mismo, pues. Seguro. Fue mala idea. Aquí te espero, venga. <risa> Tú ve yendo En lo que yo hago es ni fashion ¿Vale? Yo me muero No te va a dar tiempo a venir aquí Yo ya he muerto congestionado Llegarías tarde. Coño, si, si ves que tienes algo que no para de, de tal, pues no sé, lo, lo, lo típico que se suele hacer es mirárselo, ¿no? Da tiempo hasta acabar una tumba, que sean dos. Yo, ciego. Que sean dos porque... Fui al médico por primera vez, joder, pues sí que tienes que estar mal, sí. Para que tú vayas al médico. Me. 
I am frozen by my doubt, and yet I cannot overcome it. It's a terrible burden, friends. A terrible burden indeed. Arthur Morgan. Well, I doubt I understood a word of that. These things are sent to test us. Maybe. Well, I should get back to it. I suppose. Okay. Tienda de medicinas y, y parece que la tipa esa estaba muerta, ¿sabes? Está... How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Coño, qué susto. Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Sad sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. No, I usually do. I know. I know. Vale, pero todavía no termino de con las cuentas, espérate. Creo que merece más la pena esto, ¿no? ¡Hala! Estaba por culo. Like waves on the bay of Biscay, I began to tumble and roar. My face is red like a lobster. I fell and broke my poor knobster. My watch from my fob was picked, sir. I'll never get drunk anymore. Oh. There's more. Uh, I'm resolved to try it. 
I'll live on a moderate diet. I'll not drink, but I'll deny it. And I'll shun the alehouse door. For that is where they tell us he made all the jolly good fellas. But I by the poker and bellus. I'll never get drunk anymore. Bueno, si tú lo dices, yo te creo. Venga, hasta luego. Oh, botellas incendiarias. Esto para que el, el que, esto para el que se pasa de listo. A ver, el molotov. Per se todavía se podría decir que no existe, ¿vale? O sea, ¿tú conoces el Molotop? Que es una botella incendiaria. Pero, ¿sabes? Señor Thomas, tenemos que hablar.
about in a while. <laughs> Get away from me now! Yeah! Whoa, you're all right. Stia. He querido ir de héroe y la he diño. ¿Veis? Y por estas cosas el cementerio está lleno de héroes. Por estas cosas. ¿Y sabéis por qué? Porque me equivoco de botón. Me he equivocado de botón, he pulsado el que no era y he muerto por eso. Este es. Yeah, do you spoke, sir? Sure, but perhaps not as much as you. Oh, no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, we'll take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah. Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh... And the amount of money? <laughs> a veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is, is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here? Circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. But, you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. And you'd pay me a fair price. Now you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rampart, at your service. Okay, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. Okay. ¿Cómo va? Pues bastante bien, la verdad. Aquí hay otro. Oh, ahí está. Understand this at all? Hey, over here. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem for me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. No, well, no, wait. Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me, Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. 
I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jackhole gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... <gasps> Ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Tengo diez pavos. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Good luck to you. Po vale. <risa> Ahora tengo que hacer un horario de entreno. Uf, qué pereza. el cabrón yeah. luego estoy yo que estoy con libretilla sabes <ríe> Es que me gusta tener todo eh, apuntado en papel. Porque sé que en cualquier momento el ordenador puede morir. Pero yo sé que el papel, como no se. Como, como no lo tire. Ahí se va a quedar. Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please. 
Please. Please. Please. Please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <laughs> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Eres un puto genio. Lo típico, ¿no? De solo necesita tinta negra. Pero es que no, es que no hay cian. Tu puta madre. Okay, Abigail. Settling in. Good. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Take care, Arthur. You okay? Hello. Okay, there's Watson. Mr. Pearson? How did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Mr. Morgan. How are you, Jack? Here you were sick? A little bit, but Uncle Hosea gave me some medicine. Okay, good. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay, Uncle Arthur. Talk to them. To Dutch. You got some speaking to do of your own. Not that old gang of yours. I said, I told you, I don't know nothing. That's what I thought. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. 